Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here, and we're finally here for the Dabu in-depth guide, and this time we're hopping into the revenge stages, and of course we're going to start with the first one, the restriction stage. This one is pretty simple because all you got to do, once again, pretty similar to the first stage, either you bring research combos if your units are higher leveled, or you can stick with the classic double defense up combo, but with the restriction we're dealing with here, we're... Better off just going with double defense up combo because then we can bring, of course, Island here with the other units. Now, if you're bringing Ubers into the stage, honestly, you shouldn't really be struggling with this stage unless you're using the wrong Ubers. Pretty much most of the rusher type Ubers all work for this stage. So, yeah, some overpowered ones. Of course, Juvens does destroy the stage. Balrog destroys the stage. Cats in a Cradle destroys the stage. There's a lot of units and ubers that overpower the stage. Another unit that can power creep the stage is of course Kator with zombie talent. That could help out quite a bit if you don't have the decent levels for like pizza or something. Cycling Kator to get that huge chip damage is very effective so don't sleep on it. It is always an option. Of course all of our units here are below level 40. Except for, of course, Time Traveler and our normal cats. So if your normals are higher leveled and you don't have the right ubers for this stage, definitely just go with the normals. And getting units to that high 30s mark is the soft spot, but if you want to be safe, you can just go for level 40s. And of course, Holy Blast, very important. Level doesn't really matter too much, but yeah, ours is level 9 if you are wondering. Now for power-ups, of course... Recommended is Sniper Cat because crowd control on Dabu is pretty painful without the right stuff like Sniper Cat power up. Pretty sure that is the only thing that could crowd control Dabu other than Holy Blast. And if you don't have the help of Ubers, of course, Rich Cat is pretty much crucial for this stage because the beginning push is super important without Ubers because the damage you're going to be dealing is going to come in small waves. So it might take a while depending on your levels. But once again, aim for the high 30s on your cat levels or 40s. At 40, you can definitely sweep the stage very easily because most of our units here are below level 40. So keep that in mind. As for the strategy of the stage, it's basically the same thing as the first stage, the first Dabu stage. But all you want to do is just send out your pizza sparingly whenever those waves come out if your pizza is high enough level of course it could take a hit and that is super helpful of course that goes with island and the jimeras as well but time traveler cannot take a hit so be careful with time traveler not to spam it out too much and only on those angel waves now in the first angel wave you don't have to use a bahamut to take them out you can take them out with Jamera's and Pizza and stuff like that. If you're using the help of Ubers, you won't be using a Bahamut, I don't think. But it's pretty much the same thing as the previous stage, like I said. On the big Angel Wave, that is when you want to bring out a Bahamut to sweep out that Angel Wave and not have to worry too much. And in the Zombie Waves, Pizza is very effective against the Zombie Waves with its slow movement speed and survivability in the stage. Being able to take a hit and just chill in the back will defend against any zombies that burrow past the Jumeras. Now speaking of the Jumeras, you constantly do want to cycle out your Jumeras to get that consistent damage down on Zabu. Otherwise this level will take a while because you won't be able to cycle a Bahamut on Dabu alone unless you handle the Angel Waves first with a Bahamut. So a Bahamut for the main focus in the beginning of the stage or the beginning half of the stage is to wipe out those big angel waves. After that is when you can expect to start cycling a Bahamut for Dabu alone because you won't have to worry about any of the peons in the way. Now our pizza does have wave talents and it is pretty helpful so if your pizza does have wave talents of course that will help tremendously. It's not something you really need but it does help a lot so I do highly recommend investing in pizza if you haven't already, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have already invested into Pizza, but if you haven't, those wave talents are pretty nice. And once again, before someone tries to say, you do not need any Pizza talents, it is just super helpful. 
all you need is around high level 30 units and if you don't know what i mean by that of course it's 35 plus and you're pretty much set but preferably level 40 that is the very safe spot now here is the big first angel wave and this is when you want to cycle out a bahamut of course don't send a bahamut into dabu's attack you want to get that attack out of the way first so we have a clear way for a bahamut to just wipe out the angel peon wave so here we go, Dabu's going to do the attack, there we go, cycle out our A Bahamut, and there we go. We handle that Angel Wave pretty easily thanks to Time Traveler. Very crucial unit here, and having it level 40 does help immensely against those waves of Angels. Of course, this is one of the big perks of bringing the defense up combos. A Bahamut will be able to take a hit from Dabu, which is very crucial, I mean, unless you have your A Bahamut level 40 already for some reason but when the zombie wave comes after the first big angel wave you don't have to worry about it too much once again pizza is very very clutch for this part of the stage because he can take a hit at a high enough level and he can just chill at the back and defend against the zombie waves pretty solidly now of course you want to make sure you don't just send pizza into Dabu's attack all the time because that will slow things down and let the zombies move up forward and if they've already burrowed before then they could just start smacking pizza when it's slowed and that isn't really helpful at all so when you initially send out pizza make sure you're not sending it into Dabu's attack initially once again it's very simple timing nothing too crazy here just wait for Dabu's attack to finish then send out your units it is that simple and repeat. Now after those first two big peon waves you should be in a nice spot with sniper always defending you from taking those base hits too much because once the next wave of enemies arrive the big threat of enemies not really a huge threat you can always just a bahamut cycle like this and they will all just die very easily. From this point on it is a pretty easy win it's just slower paced so just keep focused and don't let Dabu target the base too much. And after a few minutes of constant cycling Jamera's Islands and Pizza's, you will eventually kill Dabu. We get the style finish in this run, finishing off Dabu with Holy Blast. But when you kill Dabu, you should have a big enough stack ready to just push the base and you won't have to worry too much there. Now the cat I mentioned in the beginning of the video, of course Kator, tremendously speeds up the second half of this level and even the beginning of the level a little bit because that chip damage is something not to miss out on and he can get the Z kill so it is pretty helpful if you do have Kator and let's say your Jamera is not high enough level but your Manic Jam is sitting at a good spot of course you can replace Jamera with Kator and that could work out pretty fine but yeah let's hop into just some extra suggestions and stuff and we'll wrap up this guide once again if you have the correct ubers for the stage you can completely demolish it even the out of form russia type units like yukimura can pretty much demolish the stage too there's a lot of ubers that can be used in the stage but the standard uber you should be looking for to use in this stage is of course quick they gotta be quick if they're too slow they won't be able to enter dabu's range or just get in and get a hit but as long as they're decently quick and able to enter that range and get hits on Dabu and are tanky enough then they're perfect because having two slow ubers for the stage is not so great especially if they constantly just get knocked back all the time so rusher ubers all great for the stage a perfect example of a rusher type unit that is perfect for the stage as you can see on your screen is of course balrog and cats in a cradle now some of the other choices you can't fully rely on like little valk you will have to have some times where you're cycling your jamera cats and stuff so do keep that in mind. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the stage. And really the most important part is of course the cat combos and of course your levels of your units. Because even with your cat combos, if you don't have like high level 30s, you're not going to be able to take some hits. That's why the Jumeras are so good for the stage because even at level 30, Manic Jumeira can take 
a couple hits. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this guide. Of course, drop a like if this guide helped you out. Subscribe if you're new. Join the hashtag Google Gang. Of course, March to Death, the most anticipated guide I probably think that is on the channel, is coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, it's me, John Google, and see ya.